Welcome to the Sacred Life and Transformation Goddess. I'm Shan Vanderleek, and I'm here today to share with you the goddess card, the oracle card that popped up for the month of February. While shuffling the cards from the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck, an oldie but a goodie from (laughs) Doreen Virtue, Athena showed up today in all of her glory, as she normally does. She popped out of the deck and landed right in my lap. And the last time she came up, I think she fell out um, on the floor. And so Athena is in the house with a message for us to trust our inner wisdom and to take appropriate action without delay. The message from Athena is, I am happy to assist you. However, you will be most thrilled when you first consult your own inner bank of knowledge. For I assure you that this situation is already resolved and that you have access to all the wisdom that the universe supplies. To access this wisdom, you must quiet your mind. Surrender all worries and other concerns to the loving and almighty power of the universe. If it's safe for you to do so, close your eyes and note the thoughts and feelings that come streaming into your consciousness. If you like, you can ask Athena to give you a signal that you have heard your inner wisdom correctly. But have faith. I assure you that you have heard and that the guidance brings you and your loved ones very good news indeed. Various meanings of this card include stop procrastinating. Stop letting other people live in your head or giving your power to others. Trust your gut. And do not second-guess yourself. Only you know your truth. Also, this card is an invitation to notice recurring ideas and to take action on them. Athena is a powerful and wise Grecian goddess who oversees and protects those who call upon her. She is the daughter of Zeus and her power animals are white owls and black pigeons. Although Athena is a warrior goddess, she does battle with wits instead of weapons. You can call upon her for resolving disputes and also for protection. In addition, Athena helps with creative projects, such as writing, arts, and crafts. This is a really good time to look inward and to trust yourself without diluting your judgment, without letting others' opinions form your opinion. This is so easy for us to do, whether it be through the screens that we take in, through the friends and family in our lives, through the media, whatever it is that has input in your energetic field it's important that you can separate what's yours and what's not yours. And one way of doing that is by asking, is this mine? Does this belong to me? Is this thought that's going through my head even mine? It's interesting when you start to practice that, how much comes up that you realize is not yours at all. If you want to get in touch with your inner truth, your inner wisdom, make some time to be alone whether you're in nature, whether you're meditating, maybe you visit a power spot that you like to visit. There's no right or wrong way. Just do what feels good to you. And this is a good way to connect and to listen carefully to your inner wisdom. If something is coming up for you that's recurring, ask for Athena's help. Ask for divine guidance. Sometimes we have dreams or recurring themes or messages will come to us in a number of different ways. And and to get clarity on that, again, is to, to be still and, if need be, to ask for guidance, for clarity. Know this, whatever decision you make, it is yours to make. This is your life, your truth, your wisdom, your strength. You get to make these choices. And you are unconditionally supported by the universe. 
Thanks for listening to This Sacred Life and for coming back for another Goddess Card Oracle from Doreen Virtue's Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. If you'd like to read the entire card and see the card online, you can visit transformationgoddess.com forward slash blog. And if you're interested, I can also pull a goddess card for you for a love donation. If this sounds good to you, just visit transformationgoddess.com forward slash blog. Thanks for listening.